Hey there, Cancer. Hope you guys this week has been good to you guys so far. Appreciate you. Let's find out what the cards are saying for you, what's coming out for your highest good. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer. Talk about Cancer. Somebody's stuck and powerless here. Do more. Woo, you're going towards your wealth here. Yeah. One more. One more. Your children were involved in this plan against you. Somebody was trying to attack your inner child wounds. You're too smart for attacks that tried to come up against you. You are repelling the darkness here. All right. This is why people are so stuck and powerless here. You are too smart for these plans to come up against you. You even seeing through the facade of your children here. Overall energy for cancer. Thank you. You're free. You got the power and the free will to create your happiness, to line up with your destiny, and this is what you're doing. And you had to change in order to receive this, and this is what you're doing. Nothing could grow or change without you making the change and growth within yourself here. This is why people are stuck and powerless. These people tried to change something for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. They didn't want you to break free. They didn't want you to see something for what it is, and you're seeing it. Somebody trying to come back around and get forgiveness from you. It's very important that you keep your boundaries up from certain energies here. I'll clarify these as soon as we get to that. Always forgive people for what they've done. Don't hold on to any hate in your heart. That gives people to have control over you and that stops you from manifesting. So we're going to forgive, but we're not going to forget what these people have done to us. You've got people wanting to try to come back around and get your forgiveness because they're stuck. Cancer. Their chance has come. I can't make this stuff up. Their time has come. It's over. These people wanted you gone. They wanted you to, to stop your your um, what's rightfully yours, your birthright, your wealth. They tried to stop this. So they don't get another chance to come around here. Because this is the only reason that they want to come back. Because you're, you're stepping into what's rightfully yours. You could be seeing crows right now. Everything is under control. See, you make people think that they've got something under control, but you actually have everything under control. You know how to dummy yourself down to make people think that they've got one over on you when they truly don't. And this is actually your superpower here. Everything is under control because you've got it under control. Something important is coming, so be prepared. There's something about your royal bloodline here. You're lining up with your destiny. You could just feel this coming towards you because it is. Be prepared because you've got some changes coming your way. Everything is wonderful. So you've got some people here trying to make it seem like everything is okay, like they're not falling apart, but oh, are they? You're, everything is wonderful for you. These people tried to make it seem like you couldn't achieve things, you couldn't have things. They were trying to stop the change, trying to stop you from breaking free, and everything is truly wonderful for you. This is not a facade for you. You are actually very happy right now. You're lining up with your destiny. Angels pray for you. You've got a strong, angelic protective army that surrounds you you could resonate as an earth angel a light worker star seed an empath indigo child a chosen one a prophet anointed you're protected whatever this is it's yours and no one can take this from you man you've got a very strong spiritual team that is not playing around about you cancer i am confident in social settings my warm-hearted and easygoing nature attracts friends into my life You've got a lot of jealousy that circles around you just by the fact that you. a lot of people gravitate towards you. And that's because of that beautiful light that you have. A lot of you guys are meant to be leaders here. You're meant to like impact groups. I just heard nations. Nations even. Okay. There's something about you standing in your full confidence here to step into this leadership role that is for you. So this is why it's so important not to let anybody take this from you because this is what they tried to do here. And you got a new cycle coming in here. Nice. I am ready for a new cycle to begin. And you definitely got a beautiful new cycle coming in in all areas here. There's something about a leadership role for you. And you're getting rid of things that are no longer in alignment with you. As I detoxify and release things of a lower frequency, I raise my vibration so only positive energy surrounds me. And this is what you're doing. A lot of you guys have changed a whole community of people up. You've disconnected from a, suit, a certain group here. And you're making room for your actual group, your actual soul tribe here. This is all part of the plan, all part of your destiny. So you've got a community of people all involved here that tried to take you out. And this is like family, friends, exes, all involved on trying to stop you, stunt your growth even. 
Cancer. Look at you. I am protected. Uh-huh. Yeah, you are. So protected. You could tell me that you experience some things when you go outside. If you're like, if you're like me, I see hawks flying around me, buzzards, crows, all kinds of cool stuff. That's showing you the protection that's always around you. That is your spirit team letting you know that, hey, we got your back. Ain't nothing going to hurt you. We're going to make sure that you get what's rightfully yours. You're so protected, man. Living with purpose brings me prosperity. And this is you finding your purpose. Finding what gives you drive and passion. And standing up for what's right for you. And not letting anybody take this from you. And this is bringing prosperity towards you. That's that wealth coming for you. Cancer. Potential and possibility. Reach out to the potential that is calling for you. A future is looking bright for you. Your highest self has been activated. You're jumping timelines here. Man, you look good doing it. You make it look like it's easy work. <laughs> and so I listen as my soul told me to let the past go so that I may awaken to how much I have grown. And this is what you're doing here. Looking back, you know, not necessarily looking back, but some of you guys, we need to look back just to understand how much we've come, how far we've come. Sometimes we need to do that for ourselves. Don't stay stuck in the past as you look back. Look back, see where you've come, and keep it pushing. Releasing that rebirth, renewed energy here. You look good doing this, man. This is like no longer letting the past hold you back anymore. Just let me be. And this is being liberated. A free spirit, a wild child, authentic. Standing in your authenticity and not letting anybody take this from you anymore. Now you're in this energy. Just let me be. Let the past, leave me alone past. Let me be. Yup. Time out this stuck and powerless energy here. They wanted you stuck and powerless. Three of swords. So much deception that has come for you. This pain of what you've dealt with and your connections was meant to keep you stuck and powerless. Now they're feeling the blow of what they wanted for you. That red shirt sticking out to me. There's a lot of jealousy and envy that's circling around you here. Somebody thought by gossiping, slandering you, lying on you was going to keep you powerless and stuck. Somebody wanted to like publicly shame you, humiliate you, embarrass you. It's like they couldn't do any of these things. Now they're about to receive what they wanted for you. This gossiping is going to catch back up to these people. And they are stuck in it. We got some people here going back and forth, panicking, pacing, feeling off balance. Because this is what they wanted for you. They tried to knock you off your high horse. They thought you were on a high horse, but you're not on a high horse. You're becoming the best version of yourself and you're lining up with what's rightfully yours. So of course people are going to get arrogant and think you're on your high horse. You're not. They are. They think for some reason that you think you're better than them, but that's a, uh, their own insecurities and we can't fix people like that. We're going to keep it pushing. There's that leash reference again. I'm telling you, these people tried to keep you on a tight leash Tried to stop you from breaking free, and you have done that for yourself. Somebody was expecting you to choose and do the things, the same things over and over again, and you're not. You've got some past lovers here that were trying to also be a part of this plan. There's something here about your love life that's very significant. You're not open for just anybody, and this is making people stuck and powerless as well. You're preparing for your actual person. You're no longer like connecting with people that don't want to like take relationships serious anymore. And this is making people stuck and powerless because they were trying to do something against you and but, to do with your dating life and it, it didn't work out. There's something about your home environment that's about to change. And people were trying to like cast negativity into your home environment. And guess what's happening with these people now? They're now having negativity in their environments. Something is balancing back out here. Something is made. There's like a, a a court case being ruled in your favor, and everybody went hard to try to make sure that you wouldn't receive something, but you're still receiving it. The more that you heal and detach and balance things out, the more that this karmic justice is striking down on people. Somebody wants to try to come back and make something right with you, heal something with you, because they feel stuck. Somebody is trying to get you to reconnect with them. Somebody did not want to see you have better when it comes to a love department here. And they tried to stop that. There's a very jealous feminine here that is jealous and threatened by you. And she wanted to do everything in her power to keep you stuck. 
but you get to move forward. There is a jealous feminine energy here. This could be a child. This could be a, a sibling. This could be mother figure, a friend. For my men watching, an ex. Somebody's been trying to come towards you and trying to fix something here with you. But somebody is experiencing some car issues. Someone could get into a car accident. They, you're so protected that anybody tries to come towards you with any bad intentions, they get removed. It doesn't work. There's definitely family members here trying to come towards you here. And it's not working out like they want this. Like they're being removed. Like they're not able to come forward to you. They're stuck. You're lining up with your ultimate happiness here. And you've got some jealous, unhappy family members that wanted you stuck in life. You're not stuck. You're going towards love, wealth, whatever you want for yourself is for you. They can't take it from you. Tell about this money, this wealth. You're activating your wealth. You're, you're, you're attracting your, your legacy towards you. Nine of Swords. Somebody's panicking about this. Somebody's restless and, and in their head at nighttime because something is coming towards you. They can't stop something here. You had people here that wanted you to make you think that something wasn't rightfully yours, but it is. Tell me more. Justice. I'm telling you, there's something here that's being ruled in your favor. And it has to do with your birthright, your legacy, your wealth here. It's being made right for you. It's being made available for you. There was some time that needed to take place in order for this to come towards you, but it's coming. And the more that you balance something out here, the more that this is headed towards you faster. And there's also a union that you're going to be having with somebody. There's like a couple here that is involved with your wealth that did everything in their power to stop you from having this. They can't stop this. There's a Queen of Wands again. There's somebody very jealous of what's rightfully yours. They don't want to see you have it. But something is still coming your way. Ultimate happiness, ultimate fulfillment, and your own family wanted to ruin this for you. You pulled yourself away from these toxic family members here. Anybody that was involved with trying to stop you from changing and attracting what's rightfully yours towards you. You're disconnecting from these people. You've got some very money-hungry family members here that didn't want to see you have what's yours. And everybody's stuck at a crossroads now because they couldn't keep you stuck. There's like some very risky behaviors here that was trying to work against you, but nothing worked out because you're not, there's something about you not compulsively doing something like you once were that is like giving your power back here. People are banking off of you like doing something in an old compulsive way, but you're not doing that anymore. Talk about these children here. Somebody was trying to attack your inner child wounds, and there's children here that were involved coming up against you. Eight of swords. Two, there's somebody here very much in their head. Like These are children that are very much stuck in their head right now about this situation, or a child. Stressed, worried, overthinking things. And then your inner child wounds, this was like to make you feel like you couldn't do something or something wasn't rightfully yours. Your inner child wounds were certain, were definitely being attacked to make you overthink, stress, worry, think that you weren't good enough to have something, but you are. Tell me more. <clears throat> Excuse me. Five of cups. There's some like children here that like to play the victim. Somebody was trying to paint you out as a bad parent. There's some children that are very much in their head about you right now, and they're trying to come back and play this pity party with you. They're trying to get your forgiveness here, but these children were a part of this plan to take you out, guys. Yep, there's that apology here. There's like a, a an apology that this child or these children are wanting to try to come towards you with. But they're only doing this because they're stuck and they know that something is being ruled in your favor here. And boy, did people try to attack your inner child wounds. So you've got somebody here, of a child, trying to get you to look at something differently. Trying to get to shift your perspective on what, why something was, like why they did what they did. Or they're trying to like not validate what they actually did to you. They're trying to steer it in a different way. So make sure you're seeing something for what it is. This, these children feel stuck. Something's been illuminated here. Your kids are very much aware that something is going in your favor. 
They're trying to heal something with you. And I'm telling you, there's something about triggers and traumas with your childhood wounds that even your own children were trying to strike and hit, and it didn't work. Now they're trying to heal something with you, trying to put you in a, like an illusioned mindset, trying to confuse you, trying to paint this beautiful narrative for you to make you want to connect with it again. These children were going to receive a payout over your head. They thought they were going to receive money by stopping you. There's a contract that these children have signed up for. These children are very much aware that they can't get out of some kind of contract here. Keep your boundaries up with these people, these children. This is like, man, this is like a very guarded energy that these children are trying to like play in your face and make it seem like they ain't been trying to do what they've been doing, but oh, have they? These children were invested into taking you out, trying to stop you for what's rightfully yours. So these children are still invested in something that they did in the past. There's a contract that these children are in that they're trying to like get back in your good graces, but they're still part of this contract here. I don't like this. Tell me about you. You're a smart woman. You isolated here. When people tried to isolate you and make you feel funny about a situation, this is where you stepped into your power. Like you let people play in your face and then you just go silent. You let people go silent on you and you stay silent and you start observing. You start clocking their energy, clocking their behavior. That makes you a force to be reckoned with. Look at all these people that tried to come with you involved in this situation. Your children, other people involved. They tried to like get you to react, trigger you. And you just stayed in this very calm energy like... I'm chilling. I know what you guys are trying to do. I'm going to let you play in my face as long as you need to. And then I'm going to pull out my big guns when I'm ready. <laughs> and you're very knowledgeable about your legacy, your wealth as well. You're very much aware about the behavioral patterns and your bloodline here, your own family. You're very much aware of this. You're seeing it for what it is. You're 10 steps ahead of these people. These family unit, oh, you're ahead of them. People are stuck at a crossroads because you're trusting yourself. You're not letting people keep you stuck. You're not letting people sway you anymore. You're making the right choices for yourself and you're moving accordingly. And you make people think that they've got one over on you and they really don't. <laughs> you look at people like fools. Like you let these fools play in your face, man. There's something about you not compulsively doing something that is like counteracting something that these people are doing. You had people banking on you to take certain risks and you didn't. This is where you started working on yourself. That isolation period is where you started mastering yourself, mastering your craft. These plans against you will not work because you're a truth speaker. You see the truth. You get some kind of downloads. You definitely know when people are trying to do something against you and you just let them move how they need to move and then you need to move a certain way. You move that way and it shocks them in the end. <laughs> These people didn't want you to know your truth. They didn't want you to know what they were doing, and you know everything. You're not to be played with. Tell me about this repellent. You're counteracting attacks here. There's something about a wish fulfillment that's coming your way, and you're protecting it at all costs, as you should. And this healing looks good on you. And by you healing and evolving and changing things up, it's like it's repelling more of this, these dark plans against you. So your family was involved with cults, elites, secret societies, industries, celebrities, Illuminati, Freemasons. You're now out, you know how to counteract their attacks as well. You're on to all of these people. <laughs> They've been like really conjuring up some attacks to send your way, but you're so protected. Some of you guys could be doing return to senders. But man, you're not to be played with. Your spirit team is instantly pushing back what they're sending your way. It's going right back to these people. And judgment, uh-huh. There's a judgment under these people. There's some people in your family, especially your children, that are very much aware of the judgment that's striking down on them. They're nervous. Man. There's something about you being like a, a divine judge. Something about you calling judgment. So you could speak out like, I call judgment on so-and-so and so-and-so in this situation. And then you speak it and then you forget about it. And then, bam, that judgment strikes down. That's how powerful you are. You're holding back from people. You're not reacting. You're not feeding into the drama like they once wanted you to. And it's, it's empowering you. 
you're very much aware of these people that have been trying to hold you back in, in this whole situation. You're very much aware. Trying to trigger you, trying to get you to react, and you're just not feeding into it. Somebody was trying to like get in the way of um, an actual union for you that's part of your legacy. And you've got people here that thought that you was going to try to reconcile with them, but now you're protecting your energy from them. And you're victorious. you got people trying to get your attention with old tactics, and it doesn't work on you. You're dissatisfied with people. You want better for yourself. You're not playing into these people's games anymore. Somebody was expecting you to continue to commit to this bull crap, and you're not. You've walked away. You're even walking away from long-term commitments, whether it's friends, family, children, lovers. You're done with these people. Somebody was trying to come towards you and get you to commit to something. There's something about your dating that somebody was trying to like achieve and they, they couldn't achieve it because you're too busy focusing on yourself. And somebody had to walk away from this plan because you're too busy focusing in your, on yourself, pouring into yourself. You're seeing everything. And because of this, you're moving away. These people are understanding that you're moving away from everything that they've been trying to do to stop you all together here. I've got air, 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 Libra, Sagittarius, water, air, water, water, Pisces, Virgo, Earth, Aquarius, fire, Scorpio, and Earth here. Cancer. <laughs> Look, you are knowing somebody's coming towards you to play games. You are, you are so done with game players. Like, you may let people play games with you for a minute just to see how, again, how the far they'll go. But then you, like, take a step back and, like, I can't believe how stupid this person is to think that I'm going to fall for this. But I'm going to let you play in my face a little bit. <laughs> and then you just totally flip the narrative around on these people. Beware of these children trying to come back around. Because their intentions are not sincere with you. You've got a big loving heart and everybody was trying to play on that. You're somebody that can be trusted with others' hearts because this is who you are and you deserve to have people that are going to do the same thing for you. And this is all part of the plan of what you're attracting towards you. You've got wishes coming true, energies that are around you that are quite magical because you're magical. Your thoughts are manifesting, so watch what you're saying to yourself. Redirect your negative thoughts back to positive. Somebody wanted to say that you were a heartbreaker, that you enjoyed breaking hearts, but that's a lie. And there's something about you not entertaining like certain dates and love offers here because you've been through enough heartbreakers already and you're aware of them now and now you're protecting yourself because you want something serious. You're not into game playing. Tell me more. Boy, you people just really thought that they could play with you, and they can't. <laughs> Look at all these influences that tried to come up against you. Your children try to influence people to look at you in a bad way. That didn't work. Your family, your friends, your exes, all involved on trying to smear your name and take you out. So, man... There's something here about just not caring what people think about you. And that is liberating you altogether. Because the protection that's around you, I wouldn't care either. Lies, deception, red flags. You're very much aware of all of this. You need to go through some harsh lessons to see the deception for what it is. And now you're seeing it. And now you're forced to be reckoned with here. It's bad intentions all around with these people that tried to take you out. Somebody knows that something isn't going to work, but they're still trying to come towards you. This is your children here. Nothing good will come out of this situation. And somebody knows that nothing good is going to come out of it. And you already know that nothing good is going to come out of it. That's why you're not letting it happen. You're a rebel. You don't conform to what people want you to do. You break out of it and you do what's right for you. And that makes you a rebel. That makes you a threat. Then so be it. You're not to conform to what society tells you to do. You're ready to receive because you're breaking out of these, these boxes that people tried to place on you, limit you. You're breaking out of that. And because you are, you're ready to receive what's rightfully yours. You've got a divine hand over your life. That's that protection. I am protected by source. Your energy is very magnetizing right now. That's why it's so important to evolve into the best 
timeline for yourself, your energy field vibrating at an all time high because you have this Midas touch when you do so and everything around you just thrives, flourishes, brings prosperity for you. You're attracting the right people towards you at this time. There's something about a whole new community of people headed your way here. So it's so important to leave this past community of people out in the cold. You're beautiful. You command attention. Your looks, you're a looker. There's something about you being very blessed with beauty. And this is like part of the plan to command attention here. Because, man, there's something here about a whole like mass of people here I keep getting with this read. There's something here about people wanting to like take advantage of you because your looks. There's something here about people trying to paint you as a dingy person because of your looks, but that's not who you are. There's more to you than your looks. You're very smart. You're very wise. You're a leader. And people didn't want you to see this about yourself. You've had people try to strip you down of your, your looks, try to like, there's a lot of jealousy that surrounds you, not only with your beauty, but with what's rightfully yours here. Man. Your rebirth energy is what's paving this path for you. You're discovering yourself. You're doing that dark night of the soul. We're doing our shadow work. We're moving through our darkness to find our light. And this is what you've been doing here. That's where that change is taking place. You have cleared some ancestral karma off of your bloodline here. The ancestors have gifted you with some pretty powerful leadership gifts, psychic abilities here, magic abilities, all being given to you because you can handle it. You have a past life with somebody here. This past life person finds you very beautiful. You bring out a lot of passionate energy within them. Romantic energy. There's just something about your looks that just make people fall for you as well. Your beauty is top tier. Man, you've got a lot of powerful gifts here. You had to understand that I'm okay by myself. I'm learning by myself. I'm growing by myself. I'm achieving things by myself. And by doing this and staying to yourself, you are attracting everything towards you. You're giving, giving that love to yourself that was taken from you, taken advantage from you throughout these connections that you've dealt with. You had to be happy. You had to choose self. And this is why everything is coming towards you quicker now. Something's being cleared out. Some of you guys could have dealt with a nasty divorce. Something is being cleared away. And you are stepping into your creative energy here. And they didn't want this for you. They wanted you to doubt yourself, doubt your gifts, doubt your wealth, your destiny. You dealt with some narcissists in your bloodline. Some of your children are narcissists. So, narcissists are superficial. They live in illusions. They have images to maintain. But, oh, they have self-esteem issues. They are not as confident as they appear to be. And narcissists are the type of people that they don't want to see you get ahead of them. So, they try to tear you down and pull you backwards. So, we're not going to entertain these types of people. Some of you guys are dealing with a narcissistic twin flame. Somebody here is trying to figure out how to get you to battle with them still. Trying to continue to entertain something here, but you're not. And there's your admirer coming in. So you've got a strong admirer here that likes everything that you do. And time is running out because this admirer is starting to step towards you. Because this is part of your legacy as well. There's a certain union that you're meant to have. Cancer. <laughs> Your own children had a, a, a hand in trying to get you casted away, sold. So your own children very well said you were a prostitute, that you sold your body. Somebody was trying to get you in trouble saying that you were a prostitute and that didn't work. <laughs> Tell me more. Somebody had some plans with you sexually here. Somebody was definitely wanting to like Get you sold off to the sex trafficking ring because somebody already said that you were a prostitute. So, phew, there's somebody here that was involved in this plan of kidnapping you. They were doing, they were planning on doing some sexual things with you. They were going to siphon your energy by doing so. Expect a new beginning because you've got one coming towards you. Because these plans against you didn't work. You're too intelligent for this. I'm telling you. These people can't get nothing over on you. You're too smart. You outsmart them. Somebody's having bank failure. Somebody was trying to freeze your assets, mess with your money flow. And guess what? And that's what's happening to them now. These people don't, like, 
They're very much understanding that things are falling apart because this is what they wanted for you. Envy. Mm-hmm. Bunch of envious people. Even your own children are envious of you. Family envious of you. Friends envious of you. People mad because you're you're attracting what's rightfully yours. Stuff's about to take off. It's popping off. People are very much aware of this. Man. These people are being destroyed because they try to destroy you in the process. That's why they're stuck. You're not to be played with. You're so protected. Somebody's trying to burn some kind of evidence. Trying to go backwards here. But something isn't working out. Somebody knows that they got to move cautionly towards you. That's these children trying to come back towards you. Or child. Somebody knows that they got to tread lightly here. Somebody wants to make it seem like an apology is not fake, but it is. I promise you it is. Somebody's trying to keep something a secret. Somebody doesn't want you to realize what they're doing here. But you already know the tea. You already know what's going on. You let people put on a show to see how long they're going to go for it. And then you're like, okay, I see you for what you're doing. I'm not going to entertain this. Game over. Uh-huh. Game over. I don't want to hear it. This is you telling these people that are trying to come back around. I don't care if it's your children, your family, your friends, your exes, whoever was involved. We don't want to hear this. Somebody was trying to achieve something with you sexually here. Trying to give you an STD. Someone could have said that you already have STD. That you're a prostitute. That you spread STDs around. But that's a lie. Somebody's actually getting an STD for wishing this on you. I'm telling you. Somebody who tried to say that you have something. That you're a prostitute out here selling your butt. Giving people STDs. Tuh. This gossip that they wanted for you is what they're going to be experiencing now. Somebody was trying to record you. Somebody could have had some kind of recording on you to make you look like something that you're not. So this is that whole energy that I'm feeling like with me personally. I've had exes take pictures of me and record me. We, we do things for people that we love, thinking that they love us, but then they use this against us. And it's sick and twisted, is it not? Don't let anybody shame you for taking pictures of you and recording you. Don't let anybody make you feel bad about that. I've been through that myself. So if somebody had some kind of recording of you, some kind of pictures of you, and they wanted to achieve you to be looked at as something as you're not. Yep, sexually. Somebody was definitely trying to use old pictures and videos of you to, to come up against you, to plant evidence on you, and that didn't work. There are some very sick and twisted plans of sexual activity with you. Somebody tried to put you in this, paint you as this, and then put you, like, to get taken away. And you're over here fighting for what's yours. You're not standing for it. You're not with the bullcrap here. Cancer. I'm telling you, there's this environment of people here that went hard. Somebody thought that they were going to get you in a certain environment. Someone could have said that you were a swinger, that you got some kind of pleasure, entertainment off of sleeping with... Husbands, wives, that's not who we are. Whoever said that about us, that's who they are. There's a whole community of circle jerkers here trying to get their hands on you. That didn't work. So these are your communities of your elites, your cults, your secret societies, Illuminatis, Freemasons, celebrities, industry. They all sit around and diddle each other. And then they want to like harness your energy by doing sexual things with you is what the goal was. That didn't work. The gossiping, see? They wanted to gossip about you. They wanted to use past evidence against you that wasn't really evidence against you. It's just that you were a sweet, loving person and you were wanting to please your partner and then that was used against you later. See how people work? They're sick and twisted, man. F those people. F them all. They thought this gossip was going to render you helpless, shame you, shun you. And all it did was make you rise up. There's a contract that somebody has is like that's holding on to your legacy. And somebody is very much aware that this faulty contract is coming up to the surface. And you have an actual union with your person that you're meant to have here. Got some jealous siblings here involved. Also putting their two cents in on this situation. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Your person could be dealing with like siblings trying to come up against them as well. There it is. Family members trying to get in the way of what's rightfully yours. You got some jealous family members that don't want to see you have something, but now they're going to have to sit back and watch you receive anything while they're stuck and powerless. Got a clueless man here. So you may have more people trying to circle back around, not only your children. There's a clueless man here that wants to like try to come back and try to soften something and act naive. Don't let them do that because this is somebody that was part of this plans against you. Tell me more. I just heard the twin flame. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Control and possession. You got people here that think that they can control you, dominate you. That didn't work. So many people were thought that they had this whole situation under control, but you were the one in control the whole time here. These people tried to distract you, stop you, and you let them think that they were able to, but then you showed them who's really in charge here. They can't distract you. You're taking off. You're leveling up. Somebody was trying to do something in the background and make it seem like they weren't attacking you, but they were. Even work environments involved. Somebody wanted to say something about your work history. Somebody wanted to say something about your work altogether. Because somebody tried to say you were a prostitute, but you're not. That's some evil eye energy watching you. Somebody's been casting and speaking things over you to try to, to keep you stuck. They're not. You're not stuck. They're stuck. This is what you're doing. You're balanced. You're happy. You're bringing everything towards you that's rightfully yours. And you're understanding that I am meant to be alone. I'm not meant to connect with these people. That's okay. My people will show up when they're meant to. And this is making everybody very fearful because you're moving differently. They didn't expect for you to do what you're doing now. They're scared because you're doing this. You're loving yourself and you're just not entertaining the bullcrap. Somebody tried to say that you were gay, that you slept with anything. Whoever said that you were gay, that's, what, that's who they are. That's a projection of themselves. There's a man here that's frustrated because his life is falling apart. There's a woman here anxious because her life is falling apart. You've lifted a heavy curse off of your bloodline here. And you're able to move forward because of this. And everybody is very much aware of this. They can't stop you. Cancer. Okay, so beware of people trying to come back around from your past. They ain't changed. They'll tell you that, but they haven't. They're only doing this because you're moving forward. And they can't stop you. And you got people here wanting to ignore what they've done. They can't ignore it. The pressure is being more applied to these people. You're the hero. You showed up as a hero for yourself. You're not letting anybody... You're not waiting for anybody to save the day. You learn to save yourself. But you got somebody coming in to match this energy. This is the person that you're meant to go into union with. Like, you both are heroes coming together. No wonder everybody's threatened by this. Tell me more. Mm -hmm. You are somebody's top priority here. And everybody is very much aware of this. And they don't want to see this happen. There's a light at the end of the tunnel here. This is all going to make sense to you soon. Because there's a reason that this all had went the way it went. There's something about karma needed to be delivered to multiple people in this process. That's why it's slowed down a little bit. But you're going to, it's going to make sense to you. Somebody wanted you fishing in a toxic pond. A lot of you guys have dealt with a lot of low-vibing, toxic people that took advantage of you. And then they use things against you when you broke up. This is what sick, twisted psychopaths and narcissists do. Okay? Somebody wanted you to continue fishing in a toxic pond and you're not doing that. There's something about your dating life that is not a dating life right now. You're too busy working on yourself. And this has made it people stuck because they can't come at you. Because they had plans to take you, kidnap you, unalive you, rape you, beat you. Sick. Somebody's trying to come back around and make it seem like they've had a rebirth, that they have changed. And that's great that you're going through a rebirth. Go do it by yourself. Go through the isolation periods. Connect to self like we had to. So somebody's trying to use your, your belief systems and what, what you're doing now and trying to like mirror your energy. Don't fall for that. Yep, they want to confuse you. Don't let them do that. That hurt my feelings. This is what narcissists do. When you hold mirrors up and you make them accountable for their actions against you, then they think that you're trying to attack them and, and destroy them. But you're not. You're making them see their ways. They don't know how to reflect. They get pissed off and they want to tear you down more and attack you more. Then they recruit a bunch of other haters to, to attack you and tear you down. None of those tactics worked on you. 
something was said to your children that was lies, and this made your children want to attack you more, but, you know, this is not an excuse for these children's behaviors. They moved how they moved. We're not going to deal with it. We're going to remove ourselves altogether. You are so protected. You've got a very protector looking out for you. Protectors, I just heard. You're so protected, man. And your person is coming in to match this energy. So pay attention to your dreams. If people are showing up in your dreams, it's because they're getting ready to come towards you. So that's like a warning message. And you're just showing up in people's dreams, causing panic here. You're innocent. That's why you're showing up in dreams. Like you're haunting people. You're an innocent bystander. Somebody thought by creating distance, it was going to make you yearn for them, want to connect to them, and you're not. Your person could be at a distance. There's definitely somebody at, involved with the situation trying to tear you down that is at a, at a distance. I keep getting that as well. All right. Tell me what these people were doing. Yeah. So there's some people here involved. Especially the ones that are at a distance. They're having some issues with their houses. They could be dealing with floodings, tornadoes, fires. This isn't good for some people here. That's why some people are feeling that much more stuck and powerless. There's some like weird things happening to their house environments for messing with yours. Tell me more. Yep, home. I can't make this up. <laughs> There's some, some destruction going on in home environments for wishing this on you. Oh, man. Tell me more. Somebody wanted to say that you purposely have affair with married people, but that's not who you are. That's a lie that was said about you. There's a community of these, like, circle jerkers, I'm going to call them. <laughs> circle jerkers, uh-huh. These people, like, have affairs and they have marriages and they, like... There was some things that were said about you because you were made to be looked at like you enjoy having affairs, like you're a home wrecker, but you're not. These energies that are trying to like trying to pull you into this sex trafficking, they all have marriages, they all have affairs, and they thought because what was said about you, like you were gonna fit right into this community, but this isn't who you are. This is blowing up in these people's face. You're still alive. So many attacks to get you out of here and you're still standing tall in who you are. That is how protected you are. Gifted child, born with gifts, born with a legacy, born with birthrights, and people tried to stop this for you. Your energy is very powerful. There's something about people siphoning your energy your entire life and they just can't siphon it anymore. Tell me more. There's a partner here that got involved with something here. There's some kind of spouse or partner. This could be an ex or this could be somebody that they were trying to send towards you to make you think that somebody was going to be a spouse or partner, but there's not. See, people were having meetings on you. Somebody was trying to like lure you into like a rural area to achieve something and they can't. There's something about you not falling for like friendly invites. There's something about like you understanding deception for what it is. Like you're not very easily swayed and tempted by people trying to get you to go a certain way because somebody was trying to attempt something getting you in a rural area and there was a meeting about it and it didn't work somebody was going to assassinate you in a rural area stay out of rural areas right now until everything is like made clear for you because this doesn't mean that people still could not be trying this so stay more in open settings or stay to yourself or stay in your house if you have that luxury here um, yeah, somebody's trying to get you in an accident as well. So somebody was like conjuring up things to get you go in an accident. Someone else is getting in an accident now. Somebody else having car issues. Somebody was very much sure that they were going to be able to achieve throwing you in a car accident only for them to be thrown in an accident now. There you go. There's your cult members right there all involved with this. So you got some cult members here that were planning to come against you, attack you, unalive you, kidnap you, and none of these plans worked. Some of you guys have some actually family members, yep, in the cult here, yep, whether you're aware of it or not. So you've got some very deceptive family members that have been trying to take you out. They were planning on doing a ritual with you, sacrificing you, burning you. Ooh, I just had an image of like, it's almost like, witch trial energy like tying you up and burning you 
and then like dancing around you. That's weird. That's suspicious. <laughs> That's what they were trying to do. Sacrifice you. And if that didn't work, then they wanted to like make you think that people were coming at you to sacrifice you to get you locked up in a mental ward. That didn't work either. Someone else is going to the mental ward for wishing that on you. You're an alien. Your energy is different. Your energy is very potent and powerful. That's why it's very important to protect it and not let anybody just have access to you because they benefit off it. They're protected. They're blessed. People do, should not have access just to you unless they're for you. Somebody was going to try to make it seem like your, your lifestyle was the reason that you got taken out while you got unalive, while you got kidnapped. That didn't work. And there's your secret societies here that didn't want you to shine a light on what they were doing. And oh, you're shining it on them and they're panicking right now. F them all. These are some demonic, sadistic devil ball suckers that all shove stuff up their butts and jerk each other off. They're, oh gosh, I could imagine what the walls look like in those rooms. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not good, right? <laughs> Cancer. Somebody didn't want you to know the inner wisdom here, and you're seeing it. Oh, are you seeing it? They didn't want you to know yourself. They didn't want you to trust your in your instincts. You're very intelligent. And this is what you've been doing. You've been practicing self-care, and by doing this, these attacks weren't able to prosper here because there is something about your dating life where something was going to be achievable, but you're not dating just anybody. Tell me more. This is what you're lining up with, your destiny, your prosperity, your good luck. Things are turning out in your favor here. You got people wanting to play God in your life. Tch. What protects you is not to be played with. So these people that wanted to play God in your life, God's about to show all of these mother effers what time it is. You're still alive. Mm -hmm. So many attacks against you, you're still alive. <laughs> Here's your ancestors showing up. Scaring some other effers because this is what they wanted for you. Don't feel bad for these people. These people are experiencing shadow figures, things that go bump in the nights, hearing noises, seeing things, can't sleep. And the more that they can't sleep, the more that it's causing more of like mental confliction where they can't, they ain't wrapped too tight. They can't, they can't get it together because they're having sleepless nights. Your ancestors are not playing about you. Hoo -hoo. There they are. Stuck in a, a disillusioned reality because it's what they wanted for you. And this is their karma. Got some people here that didn't think that karma was ever going to hit and strike them down. But oh, is it? People are going to jail. And here comes your person towards you. There's a love connection that you're meant to have with somebody here. True love. Longevity. Equal give and take. You got me. I got you type energy. Both loyal. Both ride or dies. This is what you have coming towards you. Don't let anybody get in the way of this because that's what they've been trying to do. Boy, these people are getting spooked. I can, that's not good for these people. Cancer. Yeah, see, a bunch of people threatened by you. They ain't nothing. They think they're this and they think they're that. That's how you feel about yourself. You feel very inferior. You feel like you're lacking something. That's why you try to tear us down. All these people involved in this situation thought that you were going to be easy mark and easy target. And you're the freaking big dog of the whole operation here. Oh, man. Tell me more. We got a boss daddy here. Somebody had some kind of power and control that have been trying to, like, talk about you. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's something here about your family talking crap about you. Friends, exes. And there's a man here that has some kind of power and authority here. This could be in a secret society, elite, occult member, a celebrity, industry, Illuminati, Freemason. I just heard mafia too. Okay. Something about lies that were said about you. Because somebody tried to paint you as a sex worker here. Somebody was going to buy you because of the lies that were said about you. That didn't work either. Somebody threatened as hell by you. Intimidated. Somebody's mad that you're not bothered by what they were doing. Somebody wanted you to like succumb to fear. But you don't let fear overrule you. You've, you've been through some dark times in your life. You ain't scared of nothing. I wanted you to be broke. You've got a lot of broke energies here that were trying to like guarantee a payout on you and it didn't work. They're going broke. 
because they tried to block your destiny, tried to block your wealth. So this is what they're getting now. They're being broke. Some of you guys dealt with a lot of financial hardships. That was a part of a curse that you lifted off. No more financial hardships for you because you've had some kind of blockage here with your money matters. That's being removed now. Tell me more. Wolf in sheep's clothing. All thinking they were going to get action. Get you. Get your wealth. They ain't getting nothing. And you've got some wolf in sheep's clothing trying to come back and play that pity party with you. Don't let them do that. Tell me more. Somebody's been trying to copy you. Somebody's saying that you're copying them. People that are copying you wouldn't have to convince other people that you're copying them. That is a projection right there that they are the copiers. Some of you guys got people just copying your, your clothes, your makeup, your hair. Don't pay attention to people like that. Keep it pushing. You're authentic. People can't copy you. You're, you're very solid in who you are. So that's not going to make or break you. You're this. You're rising up to your power. You're a great leader. You're meant to be in the spotlight. You're, be, you're meant to be known. You're meant to be seen. You're meant to be heard. And people wanted you to run from yourself. Run from what's rightfully yours. Look at all these friends involved putting their two cents in on this situation. They're haters. They're karmics. So... They gossip because they don't know no better. They hate themselves. That's why they gossip and talk about others. Because if they didn't hate themselves and they love themselves, they wouldn't be gossiping about people. And they wouldn't like others doing it as well. Their inauthentic, phony, baloney type energies is what you've dealt with. Somebody wanted you to seem like a dirty offer. Somebody wanted to like sell you because it's a dirty offer. Somebody thought that they were going to get you. Somebody tried to remove you from what's yours. Somebody thought that by moving on that that was going to make you feel rejected. But this has made somebody more obsessive with you. Somebody wanted to say that you are an obsessive karmic energy, but these are the energies that you've dealt with. Now people are upset because you're not hurt like they want you to be. People watching you from fake accounts, all involved in the situation. You're so unbothered by these people. You ain't got time to play these childish games with these people. You're so over this. Great leaders don't entertain drama. Kings and queens don't entertain peasants that try to pull them backwards we don't do that cancer we withdraw from people we let them withdraw from us and we find peace we're at peace you can't make or break that if anything you made us stronger thank you tell me more you're going towards your new beginning and you've got some obsessive eyes on you very much aware what you're getting what's rightfully yours everybody involved in this situation are the ones obsessing over you Prideful, arrogant mother effers here. Stubborn as hell. Wanted to paint you as this. This isn't who you are. Tell me more. You're the divine feminine. You're attracting everything towards you that rightfully yours. This is owning who you are. Understanding who you are. Not limiting yourself anymore for people that want to limit you. This is fully activating your full-blown manifestations for yourself. Being unapologetic about it too. Enforcing those boundaries, absolutely. We're going to keep these boundaries up with all these past haters here. Because they still hating on you because you're still getting what's rightfully yours. you got people clinging on to the idea that they can come back around. Clinging on the old versions of you that are no longer there. Your past is done. Your past self is gone. Everything is different and changed for you. You have evolved and outgrown several scenarios here. And that's what we're supposed to be doing. Got people here trying to return here. Trying to make amends because of the opportunities that are heading your way. There you are, beautiful. You command attention. There's something about your looks. God made you beautiful to command attention. God made you handsome to command attention. It's all part of the plan here. There's something about your looks that this, this group of people that were trying to get their hands on you. They think you're a looker and they were going to play with you. Keep your silence for these people because these all were involved in this plan. I don't care if it's your children, your family, your friends, your exes. Leave them in the past. There's like some lusting energies trying to circle back around. And then if it's not that they're lusting, these are people that were involved in with this plan against you, trying to come back around. You've at peace. Stay at peace. You've got people trying to make peace with you. They're hoping that they can confuse you. There is a twin flame connection that is hoping to confuse you. You got a twin trying to shift your perspective. Your twin flame wants to do something sexually with you. That that's for somebody here. These people think that they got they you are these people's worst nightmare here. You are too smart for all of these people. So stay in that. Own that. That's who you are. So 
All right, beautiful Cancer, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Sunday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you. See you Sunday.